Now, now, now. What is the matter? Everything is going to be fine. Is she all right, sister? Uh, I think so. Now, now you tell Sister Josephine just what happened, huh? I was in bed. There were lots of animals around. And they wanted to bite me. Animals? In the convent? It is a dream she has had many times. Was it a dream when I knocked over the lantern? No. No, that was real. If it was real, then I sinned. Didn't I? Well, if you do wrong intentionally, then that is a sin. But if you do wrong accidentally, then that is not a sin. It was not your fault that the orphanage burned down. Edward said it was. He said my soul would burn forever. I don't want to mention the place he said it would burn in. Forget him. If Edward says things like that to you again, you have my permission to call him an unprincipled liar. No one is going to harm you or you little fish. Here, let me hold the jar. Sister, will you please take it? Now, we must get along. They are waiting. Thank heaven you find her. I'm sorry it has to be a beer parlor, sister, but it was the only place I could find at this hour. Do not feel so badly, Monsieur Vidoc. I am sure you have had traffic with this place before. She's in women. They can give this place a bad name. There she is. They caught her. She's going to be punished. You're an... An unpimple liar. My well, Patsy, such language. She is quoting... Uh... An authority. Go to Sister Dominic and she will give you some warm milk. Sister Dominic. Oh, Patsy, I knew you and your fish would return to us. Here, now you drink some of this. You missed the best of it. The frame shot 50 miles up in the sky. Uh, 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 the sin of exaggeration is a minor one, but to be avoided just the same. The whole convent down to the ground. It was a marvelous fire. Except we have no place to live now. We're homeless orphans. Father Barrett is looking into it now. Don't you worry. There's a big children's home in Quebec. They'll send all of us there, except for her. She'll go to prison. Now, Edward, that's enough of that. Where the rest of us go, Patsy will go too. All right, Don Bobet. What are we going to do, Father? The bishop has just answered me. Montreal here can only take five of us. Toronto, 11. And the rest of them? I'm not sure yet, but I pledge you that no child shall be left without a home, even if we have to search the length and breadth of the dominion. There are many villages west of here where people of our faith will open up their hearts and their homes. Good night, Harold. out of 60. I'm afraid we are getting to the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> well, let's see what happens in Scurry. 
How do you expect anyone to adopt you with that stupid pigtail? At least my pigtail can be cut off. You're stuck with those silly freckles. Sister Josephine? Yes, Father Riley. I'm afraid Scurry is a poor haven for your young ones. Well, we don't expect to place them all, just a few. This is a Protestant community. There's only a handful of our faith. And we've all been more or less impoverished by the drought. Yes, it would be better for the children if they were settled in a more fortunate part of the country. Anyhow, Mrs. Hollihan and the ladies made lunches for the children. I hope there's enough to go around. Thank you. Thank you. Children, these nice ladies have brought us lunches. We have one hour before the train goes. Any of you who wish to attend to your wants, come with me. There's not enough flesh to go around, so I may have to take Carol and fry him. Gimme. Not now. We'll wait till she's asleep tonight, and then we'll get him. I don't want you to think that I don't love you, because I do. But you'll be safer in there. And maybe you'll be adopted by some big fish. Be a good fish, Carol. And pray to St. Francis for me, and I'll do the same for you. Are you sure you want to do that, little girl? That pond is full of big bass, you know. They might make a meal out of Harold. <laughs> 